Hey. Hey. Okay, how do I do this? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hey, it's me. Um, if you guys forgot, hey, it's been like six months. No, it's been like s seven. I'm back. Excited to be filming. Um, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, happy new year. Happy new year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I figured I would do a makeup routine, get ready with me, and an update, a life update. I'm going to show you guys my 2021 beauty favorites since um, it's 2022 now. Um, Woo. So I'm breaking out extremely bad, so please ignore. I'm gonna get started on my makeup. I have my mirror right here. Let's get started with primer, my Hydro Grip Milk Primer. This is my favorite primer of all time. I think even 2020, this was my favorite primer. So let's talk. Uh, where have I been? Well, I've been extremely MIA. I was planning a lot of really exciting stuff for this page and for my channel, so I just delayed it, delayed uploading, and then I got a new job in August. I got a new job at a bar um, in Toronto, so I was busy with that, and I was also busy with school. I am going to go into my last semester of school now, so that's really exciting. 2021 foundation. Um, this is my, the best combo ever. Uh, so this is a Fenty Beauty in the shade 300. I put like a drop of this, and I put the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've talked about this so much on my channel. It's literally, please NARS, sponsor me. Honestly, the few months that went by, I like didn't notice how quick time was going by. And I, I kind of just put a pause on YouTube. I kind of put a pause on social media too. I haven't been super like active with like posting pictures on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, so I've been kind of absent there too. Just really busy and caught up and then I didn't feel like I was ready to come back and film. I took the executive decision to just stop stressing about it and to just come back whenever I was ready, which is now. I'm here, hello. I'm gonna move on to cream contour. I do this every time I do my makeup and I'm using the Maybelline in the shade 60. I've talked about this a quadrillion bajillion times. Um, this one is really old. I should probably get a new one. I use it with this brush. It's Sigma F04. So good. I'm going into my last year of university. Super exciting. I'm so freaking excited to finally almost be done. I was also very busy with that. Um, it's my last year, so obviously I was putting a lot of time in it because um, my GPA is really important right now for what I want to do after. I hope to find the balance in the future with my job and uh, school and YouTube. I do miss YouTube a lot. Honestly, now that I'm behind the camera, I feel like I haven't been gone for that long. I feel like I also kind of just got really inspired while I took time off. I just thought of so many video ideas. I thought of so many things I wanted to do with my channel. Uh, and I think it was really important. I feel like if you need to take a break, this is your sign. Contour looks crazy right now, but don't worry. It's gonna be fixed. We're gonna go in with concealer. Uh, we're gonna go in with my favorite concealer of all time. I'm sorry, this beats any concealer. It's so good. This is the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Natural Beige. I love the applicator. Uh, the bottle lasts you a long time because it's so big and it's actually amazing. I love it. Hope you guys are excited for the new content that I have planned. I have a lot of fun content. I have a lot of content that you guys have obviously seen before, but that I love, hence me sitting down and doing my makeup, hauls, shoe reviews. I love doing types of videos like that. So you're definitely still gonna see those. The thing I learned this year is one, patience, time, and not everything needs to be rushed. Like, you know, just take your time. If you're planning something new, if you're, you know, planning to do something in the future for yourself. And move on to powder. What am I doing? Uh, so uh, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier translucent powder, the best ever. So this powder, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless finish medium two love it i use both they're phenomenal guys um notice something about my appearance um my hair 
So last time you guys saw me, my hair was blonde. I had like blonde high had blonde highlights. My hair was actually like pretty blonde last year. At this time, um, I had gotten like a lot of highlights. Basically chopped off my hair. Um, I didn't completely chop it off. As you can tell, there's still some length. I, it was a lot shorter about two or three months ago when I got it done. Um, and now for some reason it grew out so quick, which I'm getting a haircut on in a few days. So it's gonna be back to what it was when I first got it done. My goal was to dye it like my natural color um it did turn out a bit darker which i feel is normal he just tried to match it as best as he could and i think he actually did a pretty good job um because now my hair color is pretty much like my natural hair color it's probably like a little bit darker but it's fine i don't plan on dyeing it ever again i'm not gonna say that but anytime soon absolutely not i feel like it really did damage my hair in some way even though i didn't go fully blonde i didn't really go to my roots i didn't like I didn't go like platinum blonde, but like, oh my God, it was, it's pretty damaged, not gonna lie. For brow gel, um, I don't personally fill in my eyebrows because I feel like I look crazy when I do. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is the best. Your eyebrows will not move. They're not going anywhere. I have been keeping a lighter glam, I feel, this whole year. I didn't really do like the whole lashes eyeshadow thing or bronzer this has been my favorite it is a travel mini one that i got as a gift but i'm obsessed i've used it so much fenty if you're watching you know the drill uh so this is the sun stalker shady biz bronzer so good so if you guys want to see anything specific from me i do have a lot of obviously i have plans for this channel and i know it exactly in which way i want to take it but i do want obviously your guys input so if you guys have anything that you want to see from me or if you guys have any specific like recommendations or anything like that please 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 let me know so for my crease i'm just gonna go in with my bronzer that's what i've been doing lately and it's my favorite favorite eyeshadow palette i brought it anyway just to show you guys even though i didn't really use it often like i didn't do looks and all this stuff with it soft glam palette by anastasia literally look at how used it is it's disgusting but it's my fave 10 out of 10 finish my face milani blush shade luminoso 10 out of 10 my favorite product honestly all these products is basically what i use this entire year like the exact same routine so Oh, this is not the right brush. Anastasia AM Resi Highlighter. I'm so sorry. It is discontinued. If you have it, you know. If you want my second favorite one, any of the Fenty Beauty ones are also phenomenal. So I'd recommend one of those. This one is, I believe it doesn't even, they don't sell it. Or maybe they do. Don't quote me on that. I'll, if I can find it, I'll link it. But I'm pretty sure it's, it was like discontinued. Longest break I've ever taken. I didn't even expect myself to take the break. I have two faves, Morphe, Urban Decay, best ever. Put this one first, put this one after, phenomenal. Do is take my beauty blender and press in the powder. I mean, sorry, not the powder, what is it? Spray. And for mascara, you know, the real deal, the roller lash benefit, the best ever. And I use this Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. I love it. Um, I am going to be applying some lashes today. Miami Flair by Lily Lashes. These lashes, I got them for my birthday, which I'm so sad. I also didn't vlog my birthday. are phenomenal. I'll link down below those. These are definitely, honestly, I got them so recently, but they're my favorite lashes like that I've ever had. All my eyelashes are drying a bit. Um, best lip combo, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is such a great brand. Wow, I don't use a lot of her stuff because it is on the pricier side So good. This is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk and the lip liner. So I'm gonna apply this mm. I don't think I'm gonna put lip liner today, but I use the pillow talk one it's so nice uh, And there's also like a pillow talk like line and they have like darker shades if you like that type of look I used to use it and I completely lost it and I don't remember which one it was so I'm gonna have to find out which one and repurchase it, but the really regular pillow talk is so good. I got this like around my birthday and it's literally my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed my 2021 beauty faves. I'm gonna link everything down below and I am so extremely excited to be filming for you guys again. I hope you guys enjoyed my 
kind of chaotic life update. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video from me because I'm not going anywhere. I'm here now. No more breaks. So happy to be back, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.